Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves on this journey to love and to unconditional love. And this is saying love. Never, ever, ever give up on love. So, let me tell you, yesterday, woo, a crazy day. I know probably for lots of people, um, things been shaken up again, feeling a little bit shit, <laughs> maybe. Um, in my case, um, you know, for those who, who know, I'm basically selling my property at the moment, but my gut, I've always kind of thought that I would be here with my twin. So huge emotions. But I've been, you know, basically through circumstances, through divine timing, um, it's all been stalled and it's been two years in progress. So talk about that for having to deal with divine timing and patience. But I can see why it's happened because in that time I've done this channel, yada, yada, you know, all for a reason. But that takes a huge amount of faith. Now, I lost my buyers. Yesterday, I had to go through the whole process and put it on the market again. So they were doing the photos for the house and all of this. So it basically, looked, I was like, oh my God, two years down the line and I'm doing the same thing again. So um, I had that huge thing of I thought I was going to be, you know, what's, you know, kind of like questioning, going, what's going on? Because, of course, your higher self and your guidance will always give you the best guidance at the time to keep you on your highest path. And um, so this is just a message to say that that changes, right? So <laughs> it's always about if you keep saying every day, I want my highest and best golden path. And then it really, really is about trusting and letting go. Because um, the way that comes about and the way that looks can and always is completely different to what you think it's going to be. So that's uh, just a little, and I know for for other people, I had emails from people saying that they've had, you know, all difficult times. And so it felt like yesterday there was like big, like wave of stuff coming through. So I'm going to share some letters um, that I did channelings for, for, for people yesterday, because again, it just shows exactly <laughs> kind of what's going on. The other thing is, so I'm going to share a few. There was one from um, a, a twin. They'd had a difficult time, so she wanted to read to find out what was going on. The other one is from um, basically um, somebody asking what they have to do to reunite with their twin. The other one was about the event. And then these two are brilliant because dragons... Wanting to have some uh, guidance from the dragon energy and also from the Lemurian Crystal Collective. So, the thing about the dragons is that I have been, I'm going to be going on a dragon energy course. And um, so it was quite funny when the dragon, that somebody asked to have the letter from the dragons. Because I was like, okay, well dragon energy obviously wants to come in. Dragon energy, I mean, who knew that that was even a thing? This is what's so amazing on this journey, constantly, constantly finding out more and more and more. But I can sing, see why, because dragons breathing fire and, you know, basically there is strength um, in that energy. Huge strength, if you imagine a dragon. So I can see why I was drawn to do the course, which is coming up, but it just really kind of made me... Uh, again, how crazy connected we all are when somebody asked for a letter from Dragon Energy. So I was like, oh, wow, okay. This obviously wants to join our path. So the message is don't ever give up. No, what is, what, no matter what is going on for you. I mean, yesterday it was hugely emotional again because I was kind of thinking, are you serious? I'm going through this again. Two years down the line, I'm doing the same thing. I thought I was going to be here with my twin and you know the guidance is still the same right I am going to be here but I have to go through the motions and I'm like okay but I'm doing it again two years down the line <laughs> but I have to trust 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 in what crazy guidance we get so these are the letters so the first one is um, it is a message from the twin. So she had a run in with her twin. Again, so this is applicable to all of us who have had tricky times with the twins, right? I'm really sorry. I don't want you to freak out. 
It's just a burst of fear. I'm feeling like the world is getting on top of me and I took it out on you. I always take it out on you and I'm really sorry. But you always, you also are the only one that brings it all out of me. It's like I can't lie and I can't hold anything in. It just all boiled over to the surface. I spend so much time trying to be really controlled, trying to not listen to my feelings, trying to be level-headed, basically trying to be really guarded because I'm scared shitless of getting hurt and letting you see the way I really feel about you. So, I just get too much in a frenzy and then I turn into an angry bear, which I really don't want to be. I am truly sorry. I just want to pick you up hold you in my arms and tell you how much I love you. <laughs> so, you know, everyone, you know, so again, I mean, that's so, we can all understand that, right? When you feel like you're, you, you, you're basically hiding behind a mask and somebody triggers all your buttons and you just desperately want to say, I love you. But, of course, your guard is letting you not do that, so it blows over in a different way. Blows over is getting angry with someone, right? So the next one was, what can she do to help reunion with her twin? And this is, ask to be taken into your flow. More than that, every morning when you wake and every night before you sleep, say, take me into my fast-track reunion energy flow. Clear any blocks that are in the way and collapse all timelines. Show me with clear signs that I will know without doubt about our pathway home. Thank you for guiding us into our light. Repeat this out loud every morning and every night as it is a call out to your guides and to the warriors of the light that are around you, helping both of you to bring yourselves fully into your divine light. The more you work with and honour your guides and support, the more you are harnessing the great power of the universe that wants to assist you across many realms and realities and dimensions. We are all here waiting and watching with joy and we salute you in your pathway home. Okay, so great reminder just to remember every day to call in your guides and support team and the warriors of light to help you. Because I think that is just a really, you know, and every night before sleep, because when you go to sleep, that's a really, your your body is in the least resistance mode to take on new energy. Um, and so I just thought that was so great because very practical advice about what her higher selves and her twin's higher self want them to do. So this next one is about the event. So a real little collection of letters today. It was, it was good fun yesterday, apart from having to put my house on the market. But anyway. Uh, okay, um, so what about the event? Okay, so firstly, just to put your mind at rest, it is where we are going to live. It is our destiny to be together as part of the new world. It's written into our DNA. If they had a fingerprint machine to check our fingerprints, they would see that we have the new earth print. We are just different. We came here to be different. We came here to create a different reality. Us and many others all have the fingerprint of the new earth, full of possibilities, full of love, beautiful, unconditional, endless love. No judgments, no lying, no secrets. It will be you, me, our destiny, and a beautiful life which is peaceful, no drama. Just peace, love, happiness, joy, and fabulous, wonderful, sacred sexual union, creating the new world. That is what it means for us. Wow. I mean, how perfect is that? I mean, this is what's so great. When they say no drama, and that was in massive letters, because, of course, on this journey, it's all drama. <laughs> I mean, that's, I mean, that's the whole paradox, right? Because you have to be you know, you have to learn to go into your stillness when literally all around you is just constantly drama. And uh, that's the journey. That's the master. That's becoming the master of your own energy and the master of balance. And when you can do that, when all around you is frankly a shit show, then that's when you know you're becoming your own master, which is the whole journey. So I just thought that was brilliant. 
Okay, so next one, dragon energy, which is why dragon, going to roar like a dragon. Um, so this is really interesting. So, right, listen to this. Close your eyes and wait for a rustling of a tail to brush past your leg. That was my calling card for you to jump on top of me and for us to go off on our mission. You used to ride the dragons and be a dragon warrioress. Having the power of the dragons with you to honour your sacred tasks in the dragon realm. We were fighters. Fighters against the darkness. We would glitter in gold as we sent a trail of gold sparkle dust energy. Much like the farmers spray the fields with pesticides for plants. We would throw gold stardust on the darkness to give it light. You were a dragon warrioress and I was your dragon. Salvatore. I mean, how? We were highly revered within the dragon realm. Ask to dream of me and I will come to you. Okay. I mean, so quite very cool, to be honest. Um, and to I mean, when I started doing that, I had no idea what was going to come through because I was like, what? Because um, the question was, how can you, dragons, how can you help so and so remember her connection to you? So, of course, I had absolute, well, not with any of them. I don't have a clue, right, what's going to come through. But that was so brilliant and so amazing. You can really picture that, you know, the dragon's tail going against your leg, you jumping on and then, you know, basically being this, like, dragon warrioress, sprinkling golden stardust everywhere. I mean, it's just so cool. Uh, and that's when you think, wow, the universe really is an amazing place. Okay, so the next one. For all of you crystal lovers out there, because I'm a huge crystal fan. Obviously, the Divine Love Crystal Grid, uh, that's, that's my thing. So I loved this question because it was, Lemurian Crystal Collective, what would you like to say? Right, so here we go. We would like to welcome you all to the collective consciousness of the crystal realm. The power of the crystal kingdom is beyond words and certainly unfathomable to, for the human brain. But it is in full memory, and all of our wisdom and knowledge is in every part of your soul. We are at one with the Great Spirit, as are you. We are linked by the ever-loving and ever-growing eternal soul, which is feeding the power of the universe like a high-voltage power station. Tap into the wisdom of the Crystal Kingdom, by embracing them into your life. Place them in your bed. Place them on your heart. Ask to be taken on a journey into the realms of the crystal kingdom. You'll be shown when the time is right for you. Work with your crystals like they are old friends and bathe them in light whenever you can. Wow, there you go. So how cool. So that's a message to say, bathe, if you have crystals, bathe them in light whenever you can. It means put, putting them out in sunlight. If you do Reiki, then I always Reiki my crystals. Um, but I always, and what was so lovely is because I sleep with, there's crystals all over my bed. <laughs> so um, I always sleep with the crystals that I use for healing. So um, it was so lovely just to get again that comfort. And this is what's so great. I love doing the letters for you guys because that's how I also get my uh, confirmation, right? Because I find it a lot easier to do it for others than to, that, that often happens, right? Than to do it for yourself. So I love that. So thank you again to so anyone who wants a letter. It seems that any letter <laughs> doesn't, I don't know, it just seems like crazy amazing. But I love the fact the dragon energy, the crystal energy, all of these things. So if you had a shit day yesterday, don't worry. It's a new day. It's a brand new day. So let love rule and never, never, never give up. All right, take care. Bye.